Whereas a girl wing woman is actually a pretty cool option, your ex is just going to get in the way because she doesn't actually want you to get any girls. No, wrong, 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 because you want your wingman to look cool and be able to hold his own. You want to go out with someone that makes you look good. They should be, um, they should look pretty good if possible, at least dress well. Um, they should be someone that puts you in a good mood, has a positive energy, and if possible, you know, one that actually likes talking to girls. But first, we need to set up some code words, right? Yeah. So if you're talking to a girl, but then you decide you like that one, then you're going to say, this girl's crazy. And that means you like that girl. OK. And then if you like the other one and you want to do the switcheroo, you're going to say, oh, Richard, I was just thinking about that time in Italy. All right, that yeah. one. And then if you decide that you don't like the girls, you can just say, I'm going to go to the bathroom. And then I'm going to say, OK, I'm going to go as well. Whatever, right, if we don't, yeah. if we don't like them. If you like the girl and you want to take her home, then you can just say, what could you say? Uh, does anyone want some chewing gum? All yeah. Right. Okay. Perfect. So those are our code words. Yeah. If you go out with your friend and you talk to lots of girls, you would find that you have situations where you said, well, I thought you liked her. No, no, I didn't. Well, why was I talking to her friend for 30 minutes? I don't know. I thought you liked your friend. So in order to avoid all these kinds of uh, miscommunications that can happen, it makes sense to just spend a little time thinking about the possible eventualities and coming up with the code words. Even though it does sound a bit geeky, it actually really helps in practice. Dude, I don't know what it is, but I feel like you're going to get lucky tonight. I can just feel it. Yeah, I feel it too, man. Uh oh, look at those two. Well, yeah. yeah. Which one do you like? I like the blonde one. I don't know. I don't know what to say to her. You don't know? Go on, give it a go. No, I don't know. I don't want to be embarrassed. Mm, all right. Yeah, man, you just need more confidence. Here, finish some of that. Have, have as much as you can, and then you get in there. No. Probably oh, nice you're right. Yeah, yeah, Dutch courage. There you go, man. Cool. You feel better, man? Yeah, cool. Yeah, sometimes you need a drink, right, before yeah, you start. you're right. Can't do it immediately. All right, you ready to go, yeah? Yeah, All right, so here's some ready. Oh, fuck, this dude's gone in there. What's going on? Hang on a minute, maybe he's just walking past? Or... Oh, shit, no, they like him. Yeah. Oh, well. You see what just happens, and that is why you always need to make the move when the time is right. I tell you what, um, yep. have you got any cash, any notes? Mm. Just while we wait, I've got yeah, something cool. Yeah, probably. I'm going to show you a magic trick. Yeah, here you go. Right, so I'm going to take this hundred dollars. Put it in my pocket, and it's going to make you talk to those girls. Richard, come because on. Because you're not getting it back until you talk to them. Well. You agree? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Rather than you guys just hanging out at the bar, not doing anything, and having a shitty night, why not um, use this as a way to get each other talking to women? Surprisingly, this is wrong. It's what most guys do, but it's a little bit too much to come in, put the full court press on the girl. Much better if one of you goes in first and then the second joins a little bit later. No, it's wrong. Remember, you're the wingman here, so he needs to be going in first, making the better impression, and then you're just playing a supporting role. Going in together is what a lot of guys do. It doesn't work too well. Much better if one of you goes in, kind of warms things up first. What should I say? Why don't you use the engagement opener? Oh, yeah, yeah right. it's always works, that one. Yeah. That's like 102% so, chance. So I'll do my best. Yeah, man. Oh, hi, girls. Hey. Hi. Uh, can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure. Uh, my friend uh, dated a girl for a month, and uh, yesterday he proposed to her. Oh. 
Uh, do you think one month is enough time to figure it out everything about a person? I no. think yes. You think no? Yes. Why? Because it's too quick, you know. I don't think so. I'm happy for the girl. Well, I must agree with you. I think it's too soon. And by the way, my name is Greg. I'm Greg. Vicky. Nice oh, to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And you? Monica. Oh, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. This is an opinion opener, so it's very engaging, hence, you know, engagement opener, but it's also very engaging. It gets you into a conversation. If you're not super comfortable talking to girls in bars, this is a great one to start with, and it's a good choice in this case. Oh, way too long. What's he going to do in there for 10 minutes all alone with two girls? It's tough, and as a wingman, you could really be helping him. You want to allow enough time for him to say something to the girls, get a response, go a little bit further than that, get them comfortable, uh, make sure that they feel good, and then you join exactly at that time. If it's too early or too late, um, it could be all wrong and mess things up. So around a minute looks right, but when they're kind of engaged in a conversation together, ideally smiling, you can get in there. Wow, what an amazing party. Yes, and the club is so nice. Yeah, I like it. Mm -hmm. Yo, Greg, man, I don't feel too good. Are you crazy? It's all right, babe, I'm only joking, nothing there. Look, shake my hand. It's not funny. I don't want to shake your hand. Shake my hand. OK. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, girls, I'm joking, come on. Destroyed it for you, yeah? Oh. Ah, they weren't so good anyway. Congratulations, you chose one of the best things in the game. It's actually something uh, my friend Alex does in real life and gets in a lot of trouble, uh, nearly got beaten up a few times, so you should probably not try it, although in the game, I agree, it's pretty damn funny. Well, what an amazing party. Yeah, such a nice club. Yeah, I like it. Mm -hmm. Hey, mate, who are these two? Oh, this is Vicky and Monica. Hey. hey. I'm Greg Sven Richards. Nice to meet you. Monica. And Monica, right? Nice yeah. to meet you. Nice to meet you. That's correct, because you don't want to just talk to him, take the attention of the girls away, and it's maybe a bit strange to just suddenly start talking to the girls. So it's correct to quickly engage your friends, but ask him to introduce you, and then you can go on to talking to the girls. Yeah, so that was pretty cool anyway. Oh, by the way, I really like your hair. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's quite long, isn't it? Um, yes. But the condition's nice. What, what shampoo do you use? <laughs> Head and shoulders. Head and shoulders? You have a dandruff problem. I'm just kidding. Oh, okay, yeah, I thought so. Anyway, it's very nice. And it's your natural colour or not? It's not, right? Yes, it's my natural colour. Well, yeah? let's go dance. Um, I'm uh, sorry. Okay. I'm All sorry. Right. See ya. Richard, what I'm have sorry, you done? Dance. Sorry, man. She could be the one. Her hair was so nice, I just wanted to find out about it. And that's that. So what do you like to do in your free time? Well, I like reading. Yeah? What do yeah. you read? Well, now I, like I read books. Harry Potter books. What's your favorite? Really? Yes. Oh my god. What? No, that's bad. So it means you're like 12 years old no, or 13? No, 14? No, no. No, no not yeah. very close. I thought actually. only... Young girls read Harry Potter. No, it's not. Have you ever read Harry Potter? Yeah, I read the first one. Uh, didn't like it. And I watched the second movie. Oh, well, you know. Didn't like it. <laughs> I know it's popular, but I thought it was, you know, a children's thing. But No, it's not. No? It's got some good stuff. Yes, I think you should try it. No. I did like that she gave all the money to charity, JK Rowling. You know, she's, she's very cool. So yes, that's really good. Like so it's good that you're supporting. If you, did you pay for it or you. For boost? Yeah, or yes. you download yes. it. No, 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 I paid. That's I bought, good. I it. Cool. Yeah. Well done, you're being a good wingman. That's exactly right. Um, you want to help him out this time, maybe he'll help you out this next time. And by talking to the other girl exclusively, you free him up to do his thing with the girl that he's into. I don't really read, but I do like uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. Did oh. you see this? Well, actually, I've read it. Oh, yeah? You read it? That's yeah. cool. Ah. Well, 
you know, based on that, I actually started getting into this whole area, and so I added a special room to my house, and it has all these chains and whips and equipment and the hooks and things to tie girls up. And actually, I think your wrists, your wrists are quite small, but I think we can get some ropes well, and stuff around no, there. What no, do you think? No, Come on, let's go. I think like he's it. sex maniac. Come on. Sex maniac? Well, not really. It's just whips and chains. But, uh, Richard, what have you done? It was the sex dungeon thing again. They didn't like it. Oh, really? Yeah, but I think, you know, they're just boring girls. I think we can find some girls. We just need girls that are sexy yeah. and like sex dungeons, right? Yeah, it shouldn't be too yeah, hard for to sure. find. On a serious note, it's not the way to bring sexual topics into the discussion. I like reading too, actually, but wow. don't you think it's rare these days? Like everyone's on Instagram and just distracted by stuff. Well, you know, maybe bots, my friends yeah. read all the, the time, so... Yeah. yeah? Yeah. We should start a reading club. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, just, I think they do that, right? Like everyone reads the same book and then yeah. talks about... Yes, yeah, actually, actually, it's a pretty cool thing. Yeah, if you can agree on the book. Well, not much, really. Not really. You know, you share your opinion. Oh, it's pretty awesome. cool yeah. to, yeah. Really okay. yeah, to discuss it. Yeah. Well, anyway, it's rare for me to to meet someone that likes reading and it's pretty cool. Okay, so yeah. well I think you have a very nice voice. <laughs> when you're being the wingman, you want to make your girl feel good and comfortable. That means that you don't need to do so much teasing and things like that, but you do need to give some compliments, have a friendly conversation, and basically talk her in nicely enough so that she's happy to talk to you, but maybe not too much so that she likes you. And by the way, what are you drinking there? Champagne. It's pretty yeah. good, actually. Oh, cool. Cheers. Amazing. Cheers. Oh, ladies, uh, let me get you another one. Oh, thank you. Gentlemen, eh? Yeah. So you two are good friends, right? Yeah. So would you say you share things and always do things together well, and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, sometimes. Usually, yeah. That's good because listen, he's my friend and all, but actually I really like both of you. And we've got like one blonde, one brunette, and it's kind of my fantasy to, you know, have a threesome with uh, girls Are exactly you like you. Yeah. So what do you say? He's gonna keep buying drinks all night, champagne. You get wasted, and then back to my house and. First, both of you, and then just you, and you watch, and then you, and you can Are make you a video. You can take photos, right? And then you both again, and then like a different position, and I've got some you things to. You know what? To... No, stop. Fuck off. Yeah? Oh, fuck, Come on. fuck off. Lesbians. Now, this is one of my moves, obviously, but um, in reality, it's very bad. You actually do achieve more when you're good to your friends and they're good to you. It works much better than if you're both selfish trying to steal each other's goals. Amazing, but true. You know, Greg, is, he's like my best friend. He's so cool. Well, well he, he's usually cool, but actually there was this time when we were in school together and we were on a class trip and he actually shipped the bed just everywhere, <laughs> all over the bed. And uh, in the morning, like everyone could smell it like, Greg, you shit the bed. Huh? He's like, no, it wasn't me. It was already there, but I didn't say anything <laughs> like anyone would believe it. <laughs> and then um, what else happened? And he's even still saved in my phone. <laughs> it's great, Greg, <laughs> Greg the bed shitter. <laughs> Amazing, right? But no, look, seriously, he's still a great guy. Well, he just I shit the bed. think you should probably cancel our drinks. Oh, you don't want to, like, cheers, Greg, the bed shit? No, no. All right, OK, I'm, no. I'll go cancel it. Dude, hold up. It was disgusting. Yes, I think we should leave before they come back. Yeah, sure. Well, that, that's absolute genius. Um, it's not being a good friend, not being a good wingman. So, obviously, not a good thing to do. You know, Greg, he's actually my best friend, such a great guy, because, you know, I've got lots of friends, but you never know who would really be there for you, right? But there was this one time where I just had this horrible situation, broke up with my ex-girlfriend, and I called him at like four in the morning, and he said, I'm gonna be there right away. And oh, he got wow. out of bed, came to me, and was talking to me, you know, all through the morning and stuff, didn't sleep. 
and it really made me feel better. And I knew because he could have said, oh, I've got to sleep, I'm busy, I'm going to work tomorrow, whatever. But he was really there for me. So since that day, I realized, you know, he's a super guy. And, Wonderful. Uh, that's yeah. why he's my So friend. nice to have such a wonderful friend. Yeah. This is one of the most powerful moments in the entire game because if you can do this kind of thing for your friends and if they can do it for you, it has a huge effect. When you say things about yourself, it's bragging, it's bad, but when someone else says something about you, it's incredibly powerful. So think about something nice that you can say about your wingman and try it next time. Yeah, so that's good anyway. I'll... Look, hey Rich, he needs my help. I'll just get the drinks, hang on a second. Alright, what do you got here? What do you get in the whiskey coke? Yeah. Hope it's a double. There you go. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. So, oh, cheers. cheers everyone. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> it's a nice one. <laughs> And you normally drink champagne? Yes, I really like it. Yeah? What yeah. about cocktails? Oh, no. Vodka? No. Beer? No, definitely How about beer? Not really yeah. like the taste. Yeah, I don't like beer at all, actually. It's strange, but... Hang on a second. Hi, it's my mum. It was her birthday today. She just said, like, thanks again and whatever. Have a look at what she looks like. Whoa, she's so pretty. And she looks young, right? That's why you're so handsome. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Well, thank you, but actually I've got a girlfriend. Oh. Uh, but I tell you what we could do. Listen, she goes to Pilates, and um, so we could fuck like every Wednesday, for example. What do you what? say? Yeah, like 7, 7.30 she goes, and then she's not back until, I don't know, like two, two and a half hours. No, what, what are you saying? Be... What do you think? No. You're busy on Wednesdays. Oh my God, go fuck yourself. What did you tell her? Oh, it's not my fault. She was just sad because I said I had a girlfriend, but then I tried to make her happy again by saying I could fuck her every Wednesday. Are but you crazy? I guess she's busy on Wednesdays sure. or something. I don't know. Vicky. Richard. Sorry, man. What have you done? I don't know. I fucked it up, I guess, but shit happens, eh? Often to me, but... Damn, you played it again. Yeah, that's why they call me the destroyer, I guess. Richard. And why aren't you at Pilates with her? Well, that's nice, thank you. But actually, I've got a girlfriend and I love her and she's so special to me. And I was just coming to talk to you because, you know, Greg likes your friend Vicky and I was like, okay, I'll talk to this one. And then, you know, yeah. you're nice, but what can I, you know, what yeah, can okay, I say? It's amazing feeling. Well, you don't need to leave. Oh, well, no. I'm sorry, but I don't want to talk to this guy. I'm, I'm sorry. I gotta go. Oh, thank you. Sorry, Richard. Richard. Yeah, I just what, told, I told her I have a girlfriend. I'm not, you know. What do you want me to do? Lie? Yeah, of course. Oh. I, I like her a lot. Okay, I could have I pretended. She's I thought she's the guess. one. Right, next time I'll pretend. But no. live and learn, yeah. Damn, Richard. On to the next one. Ah, uh, you blew it for him, right? Well, what you need to do is to keep the girl just interested enough that she'll stay with you and not drag her friend away. Ideally. Um, she leaves with a good impression of you both, so that she encourages her friend to see your friend again. Thank you, that's nice of you to say. And actually you're so pretty, you've got Thank such a sweet you. smile. Thank you, nice to hear. But you're a little bit shy, right? Am I right? Maybe a little bit. But that's cute, I like shy girls. Thank you. Yeah, shy girls are normally good girls. But this, yeah. what is it they say? It's always the quiet ones. There's some like, English expression that the quiet ones are trouble. Well, maybe it's true. Yeah, true about you? Maybe. All right. The worst situation here is if your girl gets bored and wants to leave and drags his girl away. And girls often do that because they're way more loyal than guys. So you need to keep your girl interested. And so as far as you can, without being dishonest, you want to work hard to make her like you. When you keep the girls side by side, it doesn't really work very well because if one of your conversations runs dry, they look at their friend if their conversation also runs straight, they could get out of there. 
when you break the girls off into two separate conversations, it's really hard for that to happen. So it actually helps your wingman a lot. When the girls can see each other, they can find a moment you know, where there's a lull in the conversation um, and they can get out of there. If you turn them away so they can't see each other without kind of, uh, you know, looking back, then it makes it much harder for the conversation to break up for either party as long as they can't see each other. So it's the correct option. What food do you like? Well, I am a vegetarian mm. for six years now. Oh, can you believe it? And you're still alive? Yes, as you see. Okay. No, but seriously, do you feel healthier with it? Yes, actually, I feel much better. Okay. Seems quite um, trendy at the moment. And I saw lots of documentaries like this one, Cowspiracy, Forks Over Knives. And it's all, you know, about how eating meat is bad for the environment, having plant proteins or whatever is better. So. That's cool. And you, you're a healthy person in general then? Well, yes, I think so. And actually, I really love animals, so I just can't oh, eat them, you know. Do you have some animals? Yes, I have a dog. Okay. What about you? No, I, I have fish. I have an aquarium oh. with fishes. Nice. Yeah, they're beautiful. That's cool that you're vegetarian and like animals. Actually, I really like animals as well. And I went on a special trip to Africa. You know, in Africa, they have safari parks yeah. and all of that. And they had this place where you can do hunting, right? Yeah. And you had the choice, like you can either shoot an, uh, what was it? A giraffe, a lion, an elephant, like all the different animals. And I was like, fuck that. I want to shoot them all, all right? I'm only here uh, once, so I just want to shoot them all. So I went out and, um, it was, took ages because the elephant was so tough to kill. It was like, mm, you know, with his trunk and stuff, like bang, bang. No, it actually got quite boring. Please, but the please baby stop. giraffe just immediately, whoosh, samurai sword, head, Please, neck, stop. Gone. I don't feel comfortable in this conversation. Part, please, no. no. The best part was when we ate them later. Like, this is me oh eating my God, the baby please, giraffe. No, 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 no. What? No, oh my God. Darling. What happened? I'm sorry about that. Your friend's weird, to be honest. I was just telling... You know, she likes animals, and I was just telling her about my time in Africa and baby giraffe and elephants and stuff. I'm sorry, i got to go. It was... Oh, Vicky, oh, where are you going? A couple of weirdos, to be honest. What's, I just, what's wrong? I told them about when I went hunting in Africa. Yeah, the, the, the baby great. giraffe, right? Yeah. Delicious. Yeah. Mm. Don't talk about killing animals. And if you do like killing animals, stop. Stop hunting. It's bad. Leave them alone. And is Vicky vegetarian? Well, no. no. She likes meat. Okay. But do you live together? No, no. Okay. No, don't. Do you, who do you live with? If I can ask. <laughs> <laughs> well, I live alone, actually. Okay, that's good. And tomorrow... Actually, what do you... Do you guys work? Are you working tomorrow? Well, I think... No. No, you're yeah. both free. That's yes. cool. That's nice. You get to relax. Yes. I've got to work, but it's okay. Not doesn't matter oh. if I'm tired. <laughs> Anytime you're meeting girls out in the night, then you want to find out stuff like whether they live together. You know, all this stuff comes under logistics. And it's very important when it comes to uh, deciding on the next steps and if you'd be able to take these girls somewhere else or to your house. Seems like they're getting on very well together. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, they're getting on great. So my work here is done and I'm going to head off. I'm going to a strip club. Have fun, guys. Bye. Oh, uh, bye. Bye. Uh, what the fuck? Oh, don't, don't bother. He, he, he's on his own way. As much as I recommend going to the strip club, you needed to just stay a little bit longer there with your friends, helping him out, so the next time he wants to help you out, right? Yeah, you're right, they look it's great together. Hey, hey, guys, Vicky, yeah. Greg, come here a second. Yeah. Look, you guys are getting on amazingly. And yeah. do you know what? I'm actually a licensed pastor, so I can marry you guys here, man. This yeah. is for my emergency Whoa, special occasion you. ring. Yeah. So. Uh, with this ring, you take Greg I'm to sorry, be your guys. lawfully wedded husband to have him to hold. No, it's not funny. Oh. It's okay. Ever. It's no. fine. Just Come drink on. some champagne and let's do it. I'm sorry, I don't want to do that. Wait because... a minute, you're married already? No, I'm Did not. You're married already. No, you're I'm married, not. Yeah. I'm not going to do that. You're married or what? No. Right. Uh, and then you're a lesbian. What? Lesbian. What? Vicky, Jerks. come on. Are you, are you married? Vicky. 
What's wrong with them? I don't know, man. You know, sometimes some girls are just weird. What are you going to do? Yeah. Mm, quite funny, but a bit too high pressure, so it can easily blow up in your face, like it did just then. Yeah, they look so sweet together. Here, take this a second. Okay. I'm going to get some snaps. Yo, Vicky, Vicky. Yeah. Craig, look. Yeah. Look at me. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's get a nice snap. That's nice. Cool. Hey, give him a little kiss on the cheek. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Do that. Yeah. yeah, that's good. All right. Hey, give me your drink, man. Yeah, yeah. Because you need both hands for this. Just touch her more, like hug her, you know? Yeah. Like hug her like hey, you're safe. Hey, stop. Hey, it's hey, all right, right. Hey, hey, what's Just wrong? a hug. Hey, Hang what's on. wrong? It's not very act, act like he's attacking you. That's perfect. No, Hang no, on. No. Wait, stop, wait, 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 yeah. wait, 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 wait. Hang on. Babe? That's good. Stay like that. Stay like that. Yeah, Please perfect. stop. Hang I don't on. like it. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, babe. Dude, left hand on pussy. Try yeah. <gasps> Are you crazy? Where are you going? What's wrong, Vicky? I'm getting all of it. I got it. Richard, what's wrong? There's your drink, dude. Yeah. Got some cool pics though. Yeah. They're weird. Yeah. No girls but pictures. That's alright. It's okay. Mm -hmm. We all same on Pornhub. <laughs> ah, the sleazy photographer routine. Classic, but doesn't really work, does it, in reality? Nice yeah, they look great there. together. Yeah. First, they're actually yeah. both quite tall, so they're matched like that. Because yeah. he actually likes yeah. tall girls, it's and it's so hard yeah, for him to just, find someone yeah. in his height. That's really oh, such a nice guy. How is she? Is she a good girl? She's a wonderful girl. Yeah? I think your friend is very lucky. All right, well, hopefully they, you know, they make it, but let's just chill and see what happens. This is very nice. You're not saying it publicly, you're not saying it to her, but you're saying it to the friend, because you know that after this interaction, they're going to speak about him, and you want the girl that you're talking to to be saying very nice things about your friend. So it's the correct choice. Nice one. Your shoes are so shiny. Thank you. Yeah, I just know it's very nice, like disco ball shoes. <laughs> oh, hey, hang on a second. Yo, Greg, yeah. what's the time, man? Oh, it's 2 a.m. 2 shit, we were, we're late for this party. Damn. Uh, right. But, but good news, yeah. we found the girls to take. Yeah. Girls, it's a swingers party. Come on. You'll like it. Let's go. No, come no. Come you on. like swingers? Guys, no. Let's go. Stop. Well, Please. come on, but you look like. What's man, wrong with them? But they were so slutty, I was sure they would be into it. Yeah. Fuck, man. We should have invited them bowling. Yeah, I think. Ah, how romantic. Well, yeah, that's what I think as well, anyway, but... Um, hang on a second. Yo, Greg. Yo. What, what do you want to do, man? Oh, maybe we should go bowling. Bowling now? Yeah. It is 1 a.m. It's a good time for bowling. What do you think, girls? Oh, no, I don't think so. I no. don't think it's, it's a good will... idea, no. Yeah, it will be great. Come on. You're already Let's wearing go. their bowling shoes, aren't they? No, they're yeah. not. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Not. Okay. Um... Mm, see, you left it to him, and he's a dumbass, isn't he, right? You're the wingman. You need to help him out. Monica, what do you think? This place is getting a bit yeah. dull, right? Yeah. Maybe we should make a move after party time, yeah? I think it's a good idea. All right, let's get yeah. Vico and Greg and get out of here. Yeah. yeah. Guys, go yeah. for after party? Yeah, it will be yeah, great. Come on. Come on. Come on. Because she wants yeah. yes, of course it. Yeah. All my yeah. ideas are good. Cool. Okay, let's go. All right, let's go. Brilliant. This is exactly the way to do it. Um, you don't want to leave it to him and you want to first persuade your girl so that there's two people that already want to do the thing, then your friends are going to be three and the final girl is going to agree to it because, you know, she's just going to be outvoted.